Okay, hello and welcome back. So today I did this purpley pink double cut crease and I'm really liking it. I feel like it is really dramatic and it was really fun to do and pretty easy. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on what I did and let's do it. So I want to do like a double cut crease winged look and I want to use purple and pink and white and all of these different colors. Today I'm using the Morphe and James Charles palette. This is what we're working with. So I want to use like these colors right here in this section. So I'm going to start with this purple shade and I'm going to put this in my crease and wing it out all here. So I'm going to get a little, I think I'm going to use, no, I'm going to use this little brush right here. I have to clean this, but I'm going to pack all of that color on there and then I'm going to start blending out after. So I'm going to switch over to a voiceover and get my eye done and then I'll explain it as I go. All right, let's do it. Okay, you guys, so like I said, I'm just packing this purple color all in my crease and I'm going really slow because I want to make sure that this color isn't patchy. And when you pack this color in first, it makes sure that no, there's no open spots and there's no patchiness. So I'm being really careful with when I'm packing down and then at the end I'm like slowly winging it out to make it follow the shape of my crease and then go up at the end. And the brush that I'm using for that is the Morphe M562. This is a really tiny blending brush and this is perfect for packing on color and being really precise. So the next thing that I do is I pack on the color that is just a little bit of a lighter purple and I put that right at the edge and then after I pack the pink. So I'm just doing, instead of doing a transition shade and going from a light to a dark, I start with the dark and then I just pat on different colors on top of it to make it look like it's a fade. So after I put the pink, I go back with the middle purple and just Kind of just tap that in between those colors again just to make sure that it looks like a perfect fade from the purple all the way up to the pink for my cut crease i'm using my nars creamy matte concealer and i'm just doing a normal cut crease but i'm taking it all the way to the wing and kind of doing just like a whole cut crease over my whole lid
So once I have that whole part carved out and I know exactly where I want it to be, I then take makeup remover and take off the concealer so it doesn't have all of the concealer from before, the powder, and then the concealer again. So I just start with a clean slate, take everything off my lid, and then I put concealer again just to give it a smooth canvas. So once it's completely clean, I'm gonna put this shimmery color, this white frosty color in my inner corner. And this is gonna brighten up my eyes a lot. So I'm using this first before I use the Stila Glitter Shadow. And then I use a light purple next to that. And then I use a darker shimmer purple. And I'll have all of the colors in the description box. But these colors are just so that it goes from light to dark purple on the bottom. So at the end of the wing, I put some of that dark purple just at the very top. And then this is where I put the steel and I kind of put it in between where that line is just so I could have it like a distinct cut crease rather than those two colors mixing because they're both the same color, they're just next to each other. And then I also use this to put on top of that frosty color just to give it a little bit more of a sheen. Then I do my mascara and put on my lashes. And then I just use that purple color to kind of match the bottom with the top. And that's all I did to the bottom lash line. I'm putting on my Ardell Wispies. And that is it for the eye look. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so this is my eye look. It is very bright and purple. It's like a double cut crease and then it has like a smoky little wing on the end. Um, yeah, this was really fun to do. I used uh, Morphe and James Charles palette. I use these colors. I used these colors in this corner right here and then I also use this pure palette, this pure festival palette. And I used this purple on my lid too. And then I used this Stila uh, little glitter for my eyelid. And I also used this Tarte palette for the shimmer. I used this real frosty shade right here. So that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.